Greetings everyone, and this is Razor Player, showing you how to play any Nintendo Wii or GameCube game on your personal computer, or Mac, or Android. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download the actual emulator. The emulator is called Dolphin, it was released in 2003, yeah it's a long time, and it is being stabilized almost every single day as you can see. The recent stabilization version just came out in two days ago. So once you've done that, you're going to want to download the actual file. It's going to come in 7Z formats. And once you do that, you're going to want to extract it using 7Z or WinRAR or WinZip. I already have Dolphin, so I've already extracted it. So I, I'm afraid I cannot get give you a demonstration. But what I can do is I can show you what you need to do. You need to go to 7Zip or WinRAR and click Extract Files here. And what it should, when you press OK, it should begin extracting. And once you've done that, and once you've done that, you should go to where your Dolphin folder is, and you should have the Dolphin um, application here. Remember to click the application that has the little Dolphin thing in it that will open up Dolphin, and that's how you download the Dolphin. Now on to configuring. All right, so as you can see, I already have three games here, but that's not what I'm going to talk about. So, which the base dolphin controls, I don't know what they are because I've already configured them, but you're going to want to configure the controls for your, um, for your likings. And you can also go to controllers to use actual controllers, like an actual gaming controller, an actual Wii controller, but it's just easier to use an emulator controller with the ZX buttons and stuff. As you can see, port 1 is a standard controller, I can configure it to my liking, Z is A, X is B, Y is A, and S is X. So, once you've configured that to your liking, you're going to want to X out, and now it's time to find some games. Now, I cannot tell you where to find games because YouTube will knock on my door and shoot me because it's illegal, but I can give you some hits. When you're ROM hunting, you should always, always have an antivirus an antivirus uh, software installed on your computer. Uh, as courtesy of the Schneelox papers, I'll give you a link to CasperKey free, which is what I use in the description. And you should always use, and just just for extra protection, you should use browsers like the new Microsoft Edge beta that I have pinned right here, or Google Chrome. Don't use Internet Explorer. Don't when you're on the It's just outdated. So once you have your files, as you can see, I'll, you can go to Dolphin ROMs, and I have my files here. These are what the files that I use. They should be in the disk image file or ISO file format because um, Dolphin could read that and many other file formats. But once you have the game, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to, when it's here, you're going to want to open it up. Hopefully you configured it to be really good. All right. All right. And this is Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn for Nintendo Wii. This is a full guide and courtesy of the Schneegok Soft Papers. Thank you for watching everyone, and this is the Razor Player, signing out.